Let's go. So I, I guess the big news of the week for us is Elastic has de decided to kick open to the curb, despite saying they've doubled down on open, which is kind of silly because I have always thought doubling down meant you were going to do more of it, not less of it. But um, as, as someone pointed out on Twitter, maybe they're looking at doubling down as a, as a two negatives make a positive. Um, so it looks like they're going to, you know, SSPL because they don't want to be open anymore. Oh, no, like, no. I think, uh, I think that is a very uh, tricky uh, wording, right? They're not doubling down on open source. They're doubling down on open. Oh, open. Oh, that's cool. that's right. Uh, that's right. So what does that mean when they say uh, well, doubling I, down? I oh. think, uh, well, I, I think that means is what uh, yeah, I, I assume uh, that means that we will able to have more stuff to be open under SSPL license than we could have at Apache 2 license. But it's not going so, to be open source. So that is okay. how um, I read, uh, the, uh, I read uh, uh, that kind of uh you know oh, oh, okay but does, does that stuff. mean do you think do you think that that means they're going to take things that are in their enterprise version and make them available to everyone through sspl uh maybe maybe not right like one thing to, to remember is what that is a second time elastic changes license yes yes uh, right so uh, they had uh, done uh, one uh, iteration of uh, license change to to which, if I remember things correctly, Amazon responded having uh, the open distro for Elasticsearch. There are things which were not uh, uh, released in the Apache 2 license got equivalents uh, written by uh, Amazon team, uh, right? And now everything goes um, in SSPL, so you know, Amazon yeah, uh, can't uh, can touch it, right? And I assume that may actually may allow to have more features to be released under SSPL than before. So, so uh, that is possible. So, what do you think that this is purely because of Amazon that they're doing this? Well, uh, uh, not essentially Amazon, but the cloud vendors uh, in general, right? Uh, I see. I think like Amazon is like, uh, uh, you know, in the cloud, like McDonald's is in the fast food, right? So they are not uh, <laughs> the only vendor around, right? But then you uh, want to talk about example of uh, evil uh, in the cloud, Amazon is it. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, so, but I mean, you know, because I've seen this also as more of a revenue play. And I don't know if it's purely cloud, right? So for, you know, if you look at it, you know, we've got four major publicly traded open source database companies that are out there. And none of them are turning a profit. In fact, they've never turned a profit. Um, and, and actually, there, I can't think of any other pure, even just database companies that, that, that are kind of standalone that are, that are still out there. Because I mean, the Oracle, I mean, there were a giant, but uh, they sell more non-database stuff than they do database stuff now. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, for me, I look at this and I go, eh, this is, this is really about focusing more people or th their, their focus on trying to get more shareholder value um, at the expense of the community. And I think that's the mantra of a lot of publicly traded companies is shareholder first, how do we accelerate revenue? And, and I'm, I'm a bit, you know, interested in your thoughts, you know, like, do open source databases work in the public traded space? I mean, I haven't seen it, right? It's not something that, you know, I, I've seen turn a profit or anything. Well, uh, let's cover a few things you mentioned. Like at first, yes, uh, indeed, uh, Elastic, public company, right? And, uh, as many other companies out there uh, in a database space or not, I think we live in an age where it looks like the larger your, pro your losses are, the higher is your valuation. Right, it's not just in a in a database company. I think in general, a lot of companies in a SaaS space uh, would uh, uh, play by uh, by the same rules, uh, right? But if you uh, uh, look at uh, uh, shareholder value, right, it's not just revenue related; it's also related kind of uh, of revenue, right? And if you look at the how companies are valued their cloud revenue 
subscription cloud revenue is uh, uh, valued the highest, right? Like Snowflake is a great example of it, right? They have a huge, huge multiple on revenue because you guess what? The cloud revenue is the only type they've got. They don't have that kind of legacy enterprise license in revenue, right? Or st uh, stuff like that, right? And if, uh, and as I talk to uh, folks in the VC industry, right? Everybody tells you, hey, you know what? Their database of a as a service revenue, a cloud revenue, right? Is the only thing that matters, right? As they see at uh, uh, value in companies those days, right? And I would ima uh, imagine in the public markets, uh, it's uh, very similar to that, right? And, and, is this, and is that why like Mongo is focused very, very heavily on Atlas at the expense of everything else? Oh, of course, of course, right? I mean, uh, they do that, uh, yeah, you know, Oracle has been pushing cloud uh, uh, very, uh, very aggressively, right? Because again, especially from their uh, evaluation standpoint, right? That is a market which is seen as a growing rapidly. And uh, remember your valuation as a public company is not about now. It's about a vision of uh, of a future where you, uh, you can sell, right? right. It's so it's hard to sell a future which has less cloud. You, you're you're banking on eventually breaking even and making a profit. And That's what, what's right. what, what's interesting is a lot of these models are predicated on continual expansion, which means you have to spend the, the customer has to spend more and more money in order to make it work oh, out. Uh, absolutely, right? And I think this is uh, the interesting thing with the many companies out there, right? Not, uh, uh, and, and not just in database uh, space, right? Is the idea is, hey, you give away a lot of stuff for free, you try to acquire as much dominance as possible, and then, uh, pardon my French, you turn around, you your customer, and uh, 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 right, you, that is when you make a profit. Well, and I think this is, you know, like I, I, I see, you know, some different evolutions in that space, right? Like, so w when I see people who start out open, you know, there are the true open source believers, but then there's these companies that look at like a MySQL AB and they go, we want to copy that model. And then they, now they're saying we want to copy the Mongo model. So they get into the business because open source is a way to drive valuation, not because they believe anything about open source. It's just, you know, hey, I can get more money if I go open source. Well, uh, uh, that's right, right? And I think it's uh, not only how companies are started, but also how companies are uh, evolve. Because in uh, many uh, venture funded uh, public companies, right, the people who originally found company, they often do not have uh, control anymore. And in some cases they leave, in some cases, they you know decide to stick it out, right? Because there is a get uh, you know good uh, 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 you know dollar check uh, attached to them you know, doing so. But we should not uh, think what uh, uh, what founders in those companies uh, often would uh, completely share a vision, uh, right? Where uh, those things evolve, yeah. right? And uh, you're right. As uh, I think, as a general uh, idea, is hey, you know what? Open source is great for uh, getting uh, uh, getting uh, adoption, right? That's not dissimilar from Uber, for example, subsidizing your every ride, <laughs> right, to get the market dominance, and then mm, you, know, you figure out how you can uh, uh, monetize your uh, the, your position. So what what is okay? So back to the the specific change. What what does this mean for Elastic open source users? Like what what are they going to see that's going to be different? Oh, uh, I think that is very interesting. I think Elastic is in a different place uh, compared to MongoDB, which did that early because there uh, there is a thing uh, uh, called uh, open uh, distro for Elastic, right? Create Amazon exists. And they have been quiet for last, uh, uh, you know, 24 hours uh, as this uh, news broke, right? So it is not very clear wherever uh, they will sort of wave a white flag and say, hey, you know what, we tried, but we don't really want to uh, really fork it and carry on the torch of uh, uh, open source elastic equivalent, right? Or uh, they will do that, right? Uh, I think, 
uh, if they will uh, do that, then uh, a lot of uh, uh, they will get a lot more validity in the market space, and mm, and the user uh, user base will be uh, you know pivoting uh, to that much more than uh, it has been uh, it, it has been before. Right. So this could this could actually hurt Elastic in the long run if people start flipping to open um, the open yes, distro. Yes, uh, yeah, absolutely right. I mean, if uh, open uh, distro for Elastic Search will continue carrying on uh, the, the open source uh, Tor tree can acquire mm, uh, a lot of uh, of users, right? Uh, and, and frankly, uh, I believe that would be great opportunity for Amazon to show what they are in the open source uh, for real, right? And really be the champions in that, uh, in, uh, uh, that project space, right? Not just, uh, you know, free riders as they often are seen. Well, it, but I, I gotta be, you know, I, I gotta be honest, lately Amazon has done more for open source than a lot of the open source companies have. You know, and it seems like as they like age, they're going, oh, we're going to get more open. And then as Mongo and, you know, um, Elastic and, and others, um, you know, come of, of age, they're like, oh, we need to be more proprietary. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, I think perception is what matters, right? Think about how long uh, it took Microsoft, for example, to get some uh, open source uh, uh, reputation, right? That's true. After they started to really aggressively pursue uh, open source, so, right? And uh, yes, I think uh, uh, Amazon have been doing a lot of uh, uh, in the open source uh, recently. Uh, it is still uh, selective, right? The, uh, 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 right? I think uh, Amazon selectively has certain things uh, open mm, certain things not like for uh, for various reasons right like for example it's uh, is very interesting for me to see what they uh, plan to open source this uh, uh, Microsoft compatibility level for uh, Postgres right but at the same time their document DB which is uh, I at least I heard is essentially their um, uh, MongoDB compatibility level over Postgres, right? Mm, they keep it in house, uh, not uh, open source, right? For uh, one reason uh, or another. So. Uh, okay. Well, and 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 now that you know, we we've got like these the, these these companies trying to you know protect their IP more. Um, you know. What are the dangers around SSPL, or as I like to call it, half-assed open source uh, licenses? Like, what what do you see as the, the the big drawbacks and the dangers? You know, as we go forward. Well, uh, I think it's uh, interesting to look uh, at uh, at a few uh, groups, right? Out there. So first, uh, there is this kind of claim. Oh, you know what? If you are just using this software. You can still continue um, uh, using that uh, for free, right? But this is kind of really not what uh, open source is about, right? You can also say, hey, you know what? Uh, you can uh, use Facebook for free, right? Twitter for free, or you know, hundred of app on your mobile phone for free, and it's uh, as good as uh, open source. Well, we all know, uh, right? Especially with some uh, recent scandals, right? It's uh, not. Uh, quite uh, uh, how things uh, uh, that work out, right? And uh, uh, and uh, uh, so there. So I would say is there is a lot of uh, additional value in the open source beyond free as in uh, free as in beer, right? So what does SSPL means for you if you are want to just uh, use software first? Uh, then we start speaking about the using uh, the da uh, databases, right? The database as a service is uh, the only model which is really valued by um, investor. And that is for a good reason because that is a model which is uh, really likely to dominate in the future for user, right? So if you want to use the, your favorite database in database as a service model, what are your choices, 
right? And folks who push SSPL for you, they want to say, hey, the only valuable way, the only way which will make sense in the future to deploy and use a database, database as a service, we want to be monopoly. We want to have monopoly for that, right? And uh, uh, right, and be the next Oracle. Well, if you've been Oracle customer, you know what it is to be Oracle customer, right? And chances are you don't want that to happen uh, to you again, right? In the normal open source, there is a, a, a competition, right? And the competition drives innovation. It has more balanced relationship between uh, uh, vendors uh, and customers, right? And uh, get a lot of uh, uh, great stuff for customers and for university at large. Well, not so much uh, maybe for the company shareholders, right? I mean. Uh, because uh, monopoly is a great, is the best way uh, uh, for business, right? If you are that monopoly, right? Monopoly is a fun game, but I don't want to play it in real life. <laughs> well, That's, yeah, yeah. It's, a fun, uh, it's a fun game, right? For uh, being monopoly, it's not uh, being fun for dealing with, uh, uh, with monopoly, right? As a so-called yeah. customer. So Peter, your final word on this why choose open why choose open source why you know choose a, a more you know or a less restrictive license well i covered uh one uh, use case right so if you just uh, look to use the software the open source uh, uh, uh the truly open source software that really mm, gives you that uh freedom from uh, locking and you are going to get uh, more uh, more value uh, in uh, in the end uh, right we uh, have more uh, choices uh, i think what is also uh, important is their innovation right which uh, happens in open source software and not the mongodb famously said right what we did not open source mongodb to get help right we did that as a freemium model and if you look at that, MongoDB is not known for having a lot of contributors, right, or um, uh, co-creators. Yeah, right? it's a very closed ecosystem. Right, right. And if you look at other successful projects like uh, Kubernetes, uh, Linux, right, uh, which have a lot of um, uh, 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 a lot of contributors, and Elastic ecosystem was somewhere in between. For example, the core component of Elastic Lucene is. Uh, uh, owned uh, right, right or governed by Apache Foundation it has a lot of uh, of contributors, right? But where it makes sense to contribute to, especially permissive open source, right? It, because everybody benefits in the same way, right? It's level playing field. You know, think about Kubernetes, for example. Lots of companies Kubernetes contribute to that, and everybody benefits about fruits of their labor. Now, if you want to contribute to MongoDB, for example, right now. What is going to do? Well, MongoDB is going to say thank you. And you know what? They can sell it as an enterprise. They can monetize that in a cloud. And you can do nothing of that. Now, think if you want to be a contributor, would you contribute? Probably not, right? SSPL and similar licenses kill contribution, and that kills innovation, slows innovation down, right? And that means what's uh, from now on, Elastic will essentially have to uh, keep carrying on uh, Elastic on their uh, own uh, shoulders. All right. Thanks, Peter, for chatting with us and giving us your thoughts on uh, SSPL and half-assed open source. Okay. Thank you, Matt.